Let's take a little break from building and do some upgrades around this place. Last episode I needed to get a sugarcane manually and I don't really want to do that anymore. But before we get to the sugarcane farm, let's stop at the raid farm we built when we were working on the guardian farm and do some work over there. I've always wanted to upgrade the collection system on this farm because the old one was rather small and it wasted a lot of items. For the new one I decided to have a closed water loop. I'll put the collection system for the emeralds on the left side using multiple filters so we don't miss any. The other useful stuff like redstone, sticks, glowstone dust, etc. will have its own column in the middle section. And the leftover stuff, mostly non-stackable items, will go on the right. We don't really need a filter for that, so everything that's left over can just flow into that way. Now that we have the filters set up, I also want to add a little switch in the end of the loop so that we can turn on or turn off a disposal system. That way I don't have any items that stay in the water loop and well will not despawn. And this is kind of just the upgrade that I wanted to do around here. Just adding a lot more chests, a lot more options for what I can save, but also having a system that well I can regulate. Back to the sugarcane problem. I decided that the best place to put this farm is underneath the town that we're building. That way it will be loaded when we're here and we're gonna be here for a while. I decided to dig out a hole in the little ravine that we have next to the town acting as a border and after that we're laying out dirt where the sugarcane will go. Then we're gonna add in some rails below that, we're gonna add in slabs that we will later waterlog so that sugarcane can actually grow. Then I'm adding pistons one block above the block where sugarcane will be planted. On top of that we'll be adding another layer of blocks with some redstone on top of it. This design is based off iCraft's Minecraft design. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that one. Mostly because his design doesn't use the growing stages of sugarcane to trigger the redstone. But just like I'm doing right over here, he uses a daylight sensor to trigger it. The daylight sensor will get an update every time the sun goes to a certain position. And using an observer we can just trigger the redstone every time the update happens. That will result in a more constant output of sugarcane and not just big flows. Alright, this is what it looks like. It's been growing for a bit already. And uh, yeah, I added in some tinted glass because I don't really want the light from the sea lanterns to well bleed into the ravine. But we can let this run for a while. And I have a little like system over here. That's collecting up some sugar cane. So it's been about half an hour and we've gotten two stacks in seven pieces, which is about double what the old farm would produce. And I think once every like piece gets going, it will go a lot faster. See that there we go. That's that's good. But now we can actually go and get some more gunpowder just so we can make some more rockets cuz I'm running out. And with some extra rockets, I have one more farm that I want to give a little upgrade. And that's the Guardian Farm, which we built in episode 11 and episode 12. We have the outside of the farm which, in my opinion, looks really good, but we never did anything with the inside. I've always wanted to connect the outer tubes to the middle one, and the way I want to do that is by adding some structural elements to the middle spawning tube, made out of deep slate, to contrast against the bright blocks that we used in the farm itself, and then connect that up to the middle one using some elements that we used outside, like the the little terracotta pieces. I also think that the orange terracotta and the glow lichen of course should help those elements pop out from the deep slate itself. We're adding a band around the outer tube as well. We're gonna use the same elements in there, the orange terracotta, the glow lichen and so on. The walkway has gotten a similar orange accent to it just to add in a pop of color. Now we just have to repeat this not once but three times for the other tubes.
with the four tubes done, we have to connect them up with a walkway. And it kind of looks like this. I decided to add the orange accent around the entire ring because it made me think of a guardian's skin. Then I also need something to put in the four corners of the room. I don't really know what. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments and I might try them out. Who knows? But we have to go back to town because I have one more thing that I want to do over there. So in the episode where we built the mansion, I didn't add any interiors to it. I mapped out the walls and such, the, the little rooms inside of the house itself, but I didn't add an interior to the rooms. So we're gonna start off with the kitchen. The kitchen is gonna be pretty open. We're gonna have a lot of spruce and a lot of oak, but most of the kitchen counter we're gonna make out of smooth stone. We're gonna add in a lot of paintings. I also wanna add in some potted plants so that they can symbolize some herbs. Then adding a small sitting room, maybe something like that, just to divide the kitchen and the dining room. Mostly because I have the space for it. The dining room itself, we're gonna have a big table. It'll seat six people. Adding a little coffee table at the side of the room with some beautiful flowers in there and some nice paintings. For the entryway, we're gonna just simply put some storage in so that we can store shoes, coats and stuff. Adding a bit more greenery and plants into the interior as well so that, well, it's not all brown, red and, well, that's mostly what it is. And again, adding some candles so that it's all lit up. The interior itself, it's pretty sober, but I kind of like it. It's simple, but it does the trick. I'm gonna have to cut the video short right here. It was a productive one though. We did the raid farm, we did the guardian farm, we have a new sugarcane farm as well. We got some interior done, which is awesome. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!